Continue to follow concerns about the holiday travel today as one of the busiest travel days as we are just four days before Christmas as millions prepare by travel by air to travel by air. A massive storm is bearing down on the West Coast, which could cause ripple effects across the whole country. The first evacuation warnings have already been issued. Take a look. The holiday travel rushes on. Airports today are bracing for the busiest day of the season with nearly 49,000 planes in the air. There's a lot of people going in many different directions. Just got to bring your patience. The biggest problem, the weather. A slow moving storm could dump 10 inches of rain in parts of Southern California, potentially triggering mudslides and air travel delays that could impact the rest of the country. On the East Coast, Neighborhoods are underwater days after a powerful storm slammed multiple states, killing six people. Some rivers in New Jersey are at major flood stage through tomorrow. Boats were needed to rescue people in Little Falls. We had to leave because our heat went out. So, you know, with the kids and I'm expecting we couldn't do it anymore. In Maine, several people rescued after a river overflowed its banks. It could be days before power is fully restored. Bad weather last year caused a staff meltdown at Southwest Airlines. Just this week, the airline was hit with a record fine. It will now be required to give passengers a $75 voucher for any significant delays caused by the airline. You need to take care of your passengers, and if you don't, there will be consequences. We will hold you accountable. Security also a concern, with the TSA seizing a record number of guns. Agents at Regional National outside Washington stopped a man with this loaded handgun. And at New York's LaGuardia Airport, 17 bullets were found hidden inside a diaper in a carry-on. Fines for firearm violations were recently increased and now can top $14,000 per violation. Okay, so you know to pack your patience and prepare. I want to show you where the storm is right now. This system is developing just off the coastline of California, right near Los Angeles this morning and eventually going to move into San Diego by tonight and tomorrow. This is the West Coast storm that's going to cause those travel delays and bring a white Christmas for much of the Rockies and then towards Rapid City, up towards Bismarck. And then the moisture turns into rain as it is going to be much warmer across the southeast coast. Possibility for us, yes, in our own backyard of an isolated shower, but really the forecast is just going to be warmer and more humid. Okay, we begin winter tonight exactly at 1027. It's not going to feel like winter, but hey, we already felt that taste of winter earlier this week, right? It is the shortest day of the year. Sunrise at 703, sunset at 535. So here's our first look over the horizon. Not so pretty. We're still cloudy out there. And these clouds are producing some very fast moving showers. But you know what else is moving pretty fast? Look at those waves. Yeah, we have a high risk of occurrence for beachgoers, boaters, advisories as well. Temperatures are in the low 70s. Fort Lauderdale, Miami, east northeast breeze anywhere between 8 to 14 miles per hour, providing for a mild start everywhere we go. We have those upper 60s inland, but that's about it. Otherwise, we're well into the 70s. Those winds will continue to be strong today. We're expecting winds gusting in the 20s and the wind direction has brought us warmer temperatures by about 9 to 12 degrees. Dew points are in the 50s, and as we take a look, we'll continue to see the dew points climbing as we go into next week. Now, moving to the forecast for our friends in the northern half of the state, if your travels take you up there, it will be definitely cooler as they're still dealing with the north breeze. They're waking up to the 40s. Now, here are those showers I talked about earlier. Just a few sprinkles right over parts of Parkland. And a sprinkle trying to hold together right here by Pinecrest and Cutler Bay and into the Keys, a few showers too, but nothing widespread. Again, widespread precipitation not expected in our forecast. All of it is occurring out west. So with dry air in the upper levels of the atmosphere and just some subtle moisture moving off the breeze, it's going to be a great day. Get outside and enjoy. Tomorrow, even better as our winds continue to move in from the northeast. Sneak peek to our forecast, southeast breeze, temperatures in the mid-70s, maybe a sprinkle. Headed to the beach or doing any boating, we have a high risk of occurrence for you beachgoers. Boaters, the bays will be choppy. Seven day forecast, highs stay in the 70s, lows stay in the 60s. Have a great day.